bought Fassi to slip away a little bit, but utilising the DRS and the slipstream of the McLaren. Here comes Thomas Ronhard, Fassi moving over to the left-hand side ever so slightly, having to force Ronhard the long way round, deeper on the brakes. Does the McLaren car go? Can Ronhard look for a switch back opportunity? Is off the exit now of turn number seven, utilising the DRS once again. <coughs> enabled for Thomas Ronhard in towards turn number nine. Surely he's got this move done. He has to go for it now to look to the outside line at the uh, apex of the corner. Around the outside he goes. Ismail Fassi holding his own here. But surely with the inside line out of turn number nine and in towards turn number ten, Ronhard leads the race. That could put to bed the championship. They could grace Thomas Ronhard with his WOR championship win. But we'll have to wait and see. There could be some decisions to be made in the stewards' room. We'll have to wait and see, folks. Obviously, everything is inconclusive until beyond they cross the line, cross the start-finish line. As uh, we're now venturing onto the final lap, Ronha after making that crucial overtake on Ishmael Fassi now heads through into the lead, seven and a half tenths of a second in front, and clearing as well with Daniel Iadad in third. Another splendid drive from the Italian, Tommy Paragis in fourth as well, with Hoffland, Duncan Hoffland in his return as well, fifth place with Alvaro Caraton in sixth, Yada Watmir currently sat in ninth place, if it stays like this, Thomas Ronha will no doubt be crown champion here in WOR, of course subject to the penalties, Primoz Miklavcic disqualified from the session, failing to use the required tyre compounds, that's not something we see every day. No, he's, uh, he's stuck it out 28 laps on a set of a hard compound of tyre, but that is his day done. We've had plenty of retirements and what has been one of the most dramatic Abu Dhabi races I think I have ever seen. And it's about to get even more dramatic because we've just received word from the stewards room that Thomas Ronhar has been given a five second time penalty for his collision with Jake Benham. Meaning that the points he gains over Jarno Otmir in this race will not be enough to usurp him in this championship fight. So Thomas Ronhar through the final sector on circuit. He is going to win this race. He's been the fastest man all day long. But this penalty, this one fatal mistake will ruin his championship hopes because through the final corner it is the Dutchman to win on circuit but with the penalty applied he's going to lose a whole heap of positions meaning that Jarno Otmir is your season 13 WORPC tier 1 champion it's been a season of twists and turns but he's come out on top in dramatic fashion here in Abu Dhabi I cannot believe what I have just seen